Hey everybody, Jen here of Gen X Website Design and Strategy, bringing you as many free Squarespace tips and advice as humanly possible. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create your own Error 404 redirect page for your Squarespace website. This is the page that people go to when they enter an incorrect URL slug, basically linking to a page that does not exist on your website. And this can happen for a number of reasons. You could have maybe decided to take a blog post down because it's no longer relevant, or people might just mistype it into their browser. But you don't want to miss this opportunity because they've landed on your website. So put something great there. All right, I'm going to show you how to do it. Right now, when somebody goes to my website and they land on a page that no longer exists, this is what they land on. It's not very good looking. I'm wasting this opportunity here. So I'm going to create a page. I'm in at the back end of my own Squarespace website. I'm going into pages and then I'm going to come down to the not linked section and add a page. I am just going to add a blank page and I'm going to call it page not found, but you can call it whatever you want. You can call it whoops, or you can call it error 404. You can call it whatever you want. Now I'm going to go into edit and I have to add a section first. I'm going to add a blank section and I'm going to select edit section. And I'm actually going to toggle this off. That's just my preference. Going over to colors and then you just choose whatever theme you want to use. Now I'm just going to add some text, letting people know, oh, whoops, this page doesn't exist anymore. My bad. I've added a little bit of text and now I'm just going to add an image. And for me, I'm just going to put something cute and funny in here. I'm over here at Giphy and you can get free GIFs here. And I just think this puppy is really cute. So I click on it and it gives me an option to embed this. If you have an image that you want to use, you can certainly plop one in right there. But now that I know I'm going to use a GIF, I am going to add a code block and I'm going to select the pencil and I'm going to highlight all of this and I'm going to paste the code that I just copied. And there he is. Okay, but I'm trying to resize this. And as you can see, it doesn't really work that way. I did notice that another option over here was responsive. Let's try it out and see. What happens? So I'm going to edit this. I'm going to select everything in here and I'm going to paste the other one. Let's see what that does. Ah, there we go. All right. So I can just make this smaller and move it around however I want. I like that. I'm going to add a little bit more text underneath this image. So I'm just adding a little bit of text and then I have some options for what I want to add down here. You just want to redirect people to content on your website that you really want them to look at. I'm not going to put a ton of time into this. I'm going to make it short and sweet. And I think I'll add some text here that talks a little bit about the blog. So I put a little bit of text in here about the blog, described it a little bit. And then I'm just going to put a text link here. You could do a button if you wanted to. I'm just going to do text link and I'm going to link to a page on my website and it's going to be the blog. I'm going to select save and then apply. You have to remember to click apply or it won't work. Now I'm going to just add another text block here to shop the template shop. And the easiest way to do that is to just duplicate this one. Click and drag it over and then just edit the text. I've put a little text here and now I'm just going to add one more text block. Okay, that looks pretty good. I think I want to embellish this just a little bit by adding a background to these text blocks. So I'm going to select this little paint can here and decide what color I want. Okay, I like this. And whenever you're trying to get things to align properly and they're not, like I'll just show you, like that doesn't really look very good, does it? I really wanted all of these to line up. So if I hit return, that doesn't work. But if I hold down shift and hit return, that actually does work. Try that if you are running into that problem. Okay, and I think that these are just a little too close to this text. So I'm going to select one, hold down the shift key, and then select the other two. And I'm just going to scoot them down. I like to use my arrow keys. You can click and drag if you want to. 
So I've done that, but now it's too close to the footer. So I'm going to click and drag this to create a little bit of space there. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. I don't mind that it says via Giphy on there because they're letting me use it for free. It, it used to bother me when images or GIFs or things like that, or GIFs, I think they're actually pronounced GIFs, came with automated attribution, but it doesn't bother me anymore because you know what? It, I don't own it and it's nice that they're letting me use it. Before I finish, I just want to see what this looks like on mobile and make sure that it looks okay and maybe move things around a little bit more. And I think that is just fine. So I'm going to save it and I'm going to exit. And now I am going over back home and I'm going to design and I'm going to 404 page and I'm going to select this drop down menu and I'm going to look for the page that I just created page not found and save it. So now I'm just going to test it out. I'm going to go over to my website and just type in an incorrect slug and there it is. I hope you guys found that helpful. If you did, give this video a like, maybe subscribe, and maybe even share this with someone who you think could use a little help. Have a great day, everybody.